Hey, hi, uh, everybody. Uh, today I'm gonna show you the uh, part two of the masking. The easy way to mask, right? Uh, as I was telling you, if you have flat surfaces and you just need to mask out like this area, so uh, I can show you the easier way rather than doing the small cubes method. So what I do now is, let's say I want to cover this area, right? Cut a piece of the masking tape. Uh, before that, right, make sure that your hobby knife has a fresh blade, has a new blade, so that it's extremely sharp. Then it's easier for you to cut out the areas that you want. Okay? So you cover up this area. Uh, same thing again, using a toothpick, push the edges. Okay. So you already have the basic outline, right? Okay. So what you do next is, don't start at a corner when you want to cut, okay? Do not, do not start at a corner. What I usually do is I start somewhere in the middle, okay? Then I work towards the edges. Okay, same thing here. Go towards the edges, okay? Similarly here, you start somewhere in the middle, go towards the edges. Because what happens is it's stronger here, right? The the tape is fixed more tightly and if you start at the edges, right, sometimes it pushes the tape out. So you won't get a, this thing will flip up, then you won't get a clean sort of like masking. So I start at the, somewhere in the middle, work towards the edges. Reverse the thing, go towards the edge. And lastly, this part here, right? So you push here, goes towards the edge, flip it around. See, even here, right? You can see that sometimes the tape gives way. So that that's okay. Don't don't worry about this because you can just patch it up later with another tape, and you lift it up, and you there you go. You got you got uh, a reasonably clean uh, mask, right? So you double check your mask, make sure that everything is uh, covered up, the places that you want it to be. So for example, this place where we saw it coming out, right? What you do is you get another piece of tape, small piece, and you just cover the, the piece that flipped up. Something like this, okay? Cover it up, and you're good to go. And similarly here, there's a slight gap where I actually mask uh, incorrectly. So I'll, I'll just tape it up again. Rounded edges normally you need a few squares to cover it up. And there you go. So what I can do now is to spray this whole area back to the same color as this and I will have a nice uh, part separation based on the colors. Okay, that's all folks. Hope this, uh, hope this video helps you all again with your masking and do like and subscribe uh, if you found this useful. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.